Manually assigning IP addresses to device interfaces can be fun. This process, however, isn't a very convenient option when large number of devices are involved. It gets tedious for the network administrator, which also makes this process error-prone. You would not like to have a misconfigured device or an IP conflict on your network. In addition, manual configuration does not guarantee optimal resource utilization on large-scale networks. This process had been successfully automated using protocols like the RARP and BootP in past times. However, due to certain drawbacks, a much better solution was developed and it is now the most widely adopted method of configuring devices. Today, we'll look at DHCP overview. Hello guys! We'll talk about the overview of DHCP. DHCP, meaning Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is an application layer protocol that enables client devices to dynamically obtain IP addresses and other network parameters from a configured server. This server on which DHCP is implemented may be a router, a computer, a dedicated server, or even a smartphone. A wide range of devices in a modern day have DHCP functionality. When you connect your phone to a Wi-Fi, you sometimes see this. Yeah, that's DHCP in action. DHCP was first defined in October 1993 in a document called RFC 1531 as an extension to the Bootstrap protocol. The reasons for this extension was that BootP required some manual configuration to be performed since the protocol packets could not carry all the network parameters that may be required by the client. It also did not have any mechanism for reclaiming used IP addresses and hence did not promote optimal resource utilization on the network. As the protocol gained popularity, it went through some adjustments and developments and four years later, RFC 2131 was released. DHCP became a widely adopted standard for configuring devices till this day. The two versions of DHCP are DHCP version 4 for IP version 4 networks and DHCP version 6 for IP version 6 networks. This series only covers the DHCP version 4 application. Being a standard protocol, it is independent of operating system. No matter what OS you're using, you can always obtain an IP address from a DHCP server. What makes DHCP a different method of assigning configuration parameters is a least time feature. After a DHCP server communicates and delivers the requested parameters to the DHCP client from its address pool, the client will only be able to use this address for a time period specified in the server configuration or default to the client. Moving on, Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video like this one. The dynamic feature of DHCP ensures that a device will not always have the same IP address on every request unless it has been manually specified in the server configuration through address reservations. The dynamic feature of DHCP also allows mobility. This means if you connect to your home network, you automatically get an IP address. Moving to the office, you get a new IP address. Move to the campus, you get another IP address. Connecting to the internet through your ISP's network also delivers IP configuration to your device using DATP. This means your device's network configuration automatically changes to fit the new environment easily without the user having to reconfigure. Finally, DHCP supports all methods of configuring devices. First of all, it is primarily a dynamic configuration protocol and the working principles have been described earlier. DHCP support for automatic allocation ensures that a client permanently obtains IP address configuration from a pool of addresses. The server also maintains a record of past IP address assignments so that it can best assign the same address to the client on another request. 
And DHCP support for manual allocation is also called static DHCP allocation or MAC address to IP address binding. It is done by binding the MAC address of the specific interface to the IP address required. This ensures that the configured IP address is reserved only for this interface. Static DHCP is also called IP reservation and IP addresses obtained from the server are fixed and permanent. In the next video, we'll talk about the operation of DHCP. Until then, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.